people, 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 people. Keep pass a sock pass, say what they do. Now, people, the first thing that is popping in the news, it seems as if the fully done criminals in Jamaica, they are expanding their horizon. They are diversifying their portfolio. They are venturing into new, new scams and schemes. Kind of like Star Trek Garrison style. Now, people, I am speaking about an incident that occurred on or about the 12th of May 2022, the other day. Where a little youth, two year old Jamil Mendez, he was playing in his yard in a place called Freetown, that is in Clarendon. He was missing. On or about two days later, the family start receive all sorts of phone call from the suspect or the kidnapper, the people them were taking away. They were demanding one million Jamaican for the safe return of this youth. However, it seems as if the family members they contacted law enforcement and they gave law enforcement the suspect or suspect's phone number. Law enforcement, they traced that number and they arrested and charged a man on Monday. That was yesterday. Now, people, the little boy still has not been found, little Jamil Mendes. Here is the thing, people. Sometimes if you are a criminal and you are not the sharpest tool in the shed, certain things you need to leave alone. Do not outstep your boundary. Don't get ahead of yourself. So therefore, if you are a dunce criminal, stick to pickpocket, grab people phone, stuff like this. Whenever you venture into stuff like holding people, H-O-S-T-A-G-E-R-K-I-D-N-A-P-P-I-N-G them. Then it needs some sort of brain power. And I doubt that most of these criminals have any sorts of brain power, much more any sorts of skill set for pull off anything like this. Some people may just say, criminals, sorry, know your limitation. Now people, as easy as one, two, three. This man take with the people them pick me and then have the audacity to call them and demand one million dollar. Now people, the last time I checked, Jamaica is a third world country. Most people don't even know how to apply for a loan for one million dollar. Most people don't have any sort of family member in a Jamaica overseas that can give them the equivalence of one million Jamaican dollar. So my point is this, unless these people know, say, all right, the Mendez family are some rich business people. The Mendez family love them child. So therefore, the Mendez family will be willing to do anything to get them family member, them little picnic back. So therefore, they will oblige, they will pay this million dollars without any sorts of communication with law enforcement. Obviously, people will say, say, like them say, when man a plan, God a wipe out. So therefore, while they were plotting and planning and scheming, it did not work out according to plan. One of them arrested, the little boy is still not found. Hopefully, the poor poor can do some sort of pressure upon this one man, this one suspect, and tell him, say, listen, it's either you go, if we can't find the little boy, or you give up the little boy or else. People, if them can't find the little boy, this man is supposed to go also. Fear trade is no robbery. Point blank and period. Now before I move to the next part of my video, please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. The next thing that is popping in the news. It is said that an airport employee he was held, he was arrested after the narcotics division and the canine paw paw them, them hold him with one lock, one bird, one kilo of cocoa. 
Based on information, it is said that they were doing some sorts of random check. While they were doing the check, them stopped one of the ground handler, his vehicle. When them searched the vehicle, them find two package, two package weighing one lock, one bird, one key. Now people, as soon as him realize uh, him get caught with him hand in the cookie jar, him try to take for himself. However, people, it seems as if he could not outrun the canine more than likely. The canine run him down and catch him and bite him upon him foot. People, me no know. Me never did it. Now people, this occurred at Sangsa's International Airport that is in Montego Bay. This man is said to be a worker at the airport. Here is the facts. Jamaica is obviously one of the biggest cocoa hubs in the whole wide world. Because of its geographic location, it is central to everything. That means it prime for the smuggling activity. So we should not be surprised and if they do more random checks, they would more than likely catch more people. Because people, here is the deal. Jamaica have a lot of hard working people. However, Jamaica have a lot of corrupted licky licky people that like to live above their means. Meaning that they may make one million but they may spend three million. Let me rephrase. They are making one million legitimately but they must spend three million dollars. That much don't add up. So therefore, what they do, they get involved in illicit activity. It seems as if some of these young youths in Jamaica, whenever them get any sorts of job, the first thing that them want to know, any sorts of hustle, any sorts of thiefing available. People, for those of you that have business in Jamaica, and hire Jamaican kudos to you if I was to open a business in Jamaica me would have to have all sorts of pitbull all sorts of shotgun everybody I get searched when they are going everybody I get searched when they are leave I don't want to say strip search but thorough search pretty much as a matter of fact me and I hire no Jamaican for do nothing for me None at all. So leave it right there, sir. If you want to do it and you have no choice, fine. Do, 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 me just I say, make sure say, you're careful. You watch them like a hawk. So people, not only the people them have a criminal intention whenever they are getting any sorts of job. They want some sort of hustle. Jamaica is a type of place where the criminals, the smugglers, they are very manipulative. So therefore, them ask question, them seek and find. Them just one year say you work at the airport. Them are gonna ask you where you do. And if you are not doing what they want you to do, or what they are looking for, them are gonna ask you. So uh, you don't know nobody where well, carry the luggage them to the plane. And of course, these people are not properly paid or their pay don't equal the work that they're doing in their estimation even though them pay or them agree or sign to a certain pay scale however it is the hustle that is the bargaining chip that push or make them agree to this job so therefore everybody know everybody somebody know somebody and somebody is always willing to take a chance with their job, no matter what type of security features it has, they are willing to violate it because money moves mountain. Money talk and BS walks. So people, this is just an ex-employee. Maybe as I speak, there is some sort of baggage handler vehicle now right on the tarmac that is moving with some sort of cocoa. Only if the relevant authorities would check they would realize that, listen, these people working with the people that are packing the bag and the people them that are the mechanics, 
that are putting all sorts of cocoa in all sorts of panel. When that cocoa in that sorts of panel reach overseas, there is always some other Jamaican that is willing and able to take it off. Point blank and period. Now the next thing that is popping in the news and people, while this is not a part of the Mad Men in Mark X series, it is pretty close. I am speaking about an incident, an A-C-C-I-D-E-N-T, that is said to have taken place in a part named Spring Hill. Now people don't know what happened, don't know who caused it. However, based on the pictures that I have, no sorts of videos. There is one Jeep. The Jeep is about 20 meters off of the road in a some sort of bush bush. It turned over. The wall at the front part from the impact smashing into the driver's side and the passenger side front seat. There's a next little vehicle, same thing. The wall at the front bumper gone in to the windshield to the passenger side. People spread out on the road. People have on all sorts of neck braces. All sorts of red around down on the road. When we look at the amount of car parts, it looks like the people I'm from over so put on some sort of EXPLOSIVE device and BLOW up some sort of car parts place. We are talking about wheel, axle, bumper, everything laid out upon the ground, including the passengers, the occupants of these vehicles. Now people, this is broad daylight. This is a nice road, a good road. Two lane, one going east, west, north or south. However, obviously, we see say, speed was the reason. We see say, hard years. We see say, people that don't obey the protocols as it pertains to the road code and people once again every other day or every day or so we see the same thing however them now nah learn and people like me say a hard ears make for a soft ass and people in this case it is sad to see people losing their life getting hurt all because of hard ears people these are not a c c i d e n t s these are deliberate act of stupidity, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.